Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, members of Senate, distinguished guests, members of staff, graduates, and their guests. I am humbled, honored, and slightly terrified to be delivering this address today. First and foremost, I'd like to extend my sincerest congratulations to the graduating class. Though admittedly, this is not the typical graduation ceremony. Many of you have finished your studies some three, six, or even nine months ago. And whilst I do not know your journey, I know that each of you faced significant challenges in the spectacularly terrible year that was 2020. To keep it brief, it was a year of adaptation, adapting to online learning, working from home, social isolation, and a toilet paper shortage, which I still do not understand. Yet, here you are today, and that in itself is a testament of your ability to adapt. Well done. When commencing university, the journey ahead of you appears everlasting and full of pain. And many of us dream about finishing our degrees before we've even started. But then, one year passes, and so does another. And before you know it, you're handing in the final exam, project, portfolio, and greeted with a huge sigh of relief, but also a bittersweet farewell to being a student. And now it's over. You're officially ready to enter into the real world, or if you're pursuing further education, subject yourself to further pain. In which case, good luck. It's the exact same you've just experienced, but harder. Nonetheless, today we have reached this milestone together and are entering into a new chapter of our lives. So it seems appropriate to reflect upon some of what we've learned, learned at UWA, or at least expected to. Design grads, I'm certain by this stage we've all become masters of AutoCAD, Revit, Photoshop, and V-Ray, to name a few. We have all become experts of time management, yet it seems a surprise each time in the semester when it's week 12, 2 a.m. in the computer labs, and a half-baked design concept. But it is incredible just how much you can achieve in that last week of folio. As I said, time management. I've learned that as students, we are very different, but very similar. Therefore, it is comforting to hear that your classmate is having the same existential crisis that you are at 2 a.m. Suffering in itself is not comfortable, but there is comfort in suffering together. I also learned the secret to staying awake for 36 hours. It is two tablespoons of instant coffee washed down with a glass of water, something I do not recommend. But in terms of practical life advice, I've attempted to condense some five and a half years of study into three pieces of life wisdom. Number one, everything seems impossible until you do it. This can include, but is not limited to, getting out of bed for an 8 a.m. lecture, finding a parking spot at UWA, eating a pack of chips in the silent zone of the library, or just convincing your tutors you know what you're talking about. The point being, Think about yourself one year ago today. Perhaps it is graduating that seemed impossible, and yet here you are. Now, we usually build things up to seem impossible, not because they actually are. So believe in yourself and do not limit what you can achieve by thinking you cannot do it. Chances are you've already done it before. Number two, be open and be kind. Talk to each other and ask each other for help because your greatest resource is sitting all around you. University is a unique time where you have hundreds of interesting brains at your disposal, including your amazing teachers. So instead of squinting at your iPhone Googling the answer, say hello to the person next to you. You'll feel better. Finally, number three, take a break and slow down. It sometimes seems that we must spend each moment of our waking lives doing something productive, but our brains are not supercomputers built to work 24 seven. Time taken for a walk with, to be with friends family and outdoors is far more productive than sitting at your desk for 12 of 24 hours of the day. One thing I'd have told myself during a thesis-imposed self-isolation would have been to take more breaks. Now, at this point, you must all be feeling sufficiently enlightened, and so, to adhere to time limits, I leave you with one last nugget of wisdom. Remember to say thank you to the friends who listen to complaints about group assignments, to your family for bearing the countless meltdowns, to the bus drivers who didn't drive away from you, to the teachers who gave up their time for your future, and any person who made some positive impression in your life, big or small. But important, importantly, say thank you to yourselves for persevering through the endless uphill battle that is university. 
Now you're ready to go on and fight your next battles. Thank you.